Hello everyone, I'm Gordon. I'm Crovin. <laughs> I'm Henry. And I'm Eagle. Hey. Oh, hello. My name's Victor. Uh, why are you doing this out of the water? And, and matter of fact, how are you floating still? Well, luckily, I landed on a jetty. And, uh, as you can tell, I came from Mexico. And, uh, I meant to, like, I accidentally rode off of the flatbed I was on. Ah. And why haven't they not been able to pull you out? Well, the weather was so bad, and now I'm all rusted up. That if I was ever to attempt to move, I will, f I will fall into smithereens. I feel so bad for you. I feel so bad for me as well. But sometimes it's just a worth of sacrifice. I do not really mind, really. Because I get to talk to this crane right here. Hello, I'm Cranky. Well, nice to meet you, Cranky. Hang on a minute. I don't think I ever heard about your class before. And same goes to the both of you. Well... I was built with Sir Topham Hatt and Sir Nigel Gresley. I am the A0, the only one of my kind. And I was built about like two days ago, but they only made me for like a trial run. And me and Croven were built at last year, and unfortunately, <coughs> I'm a little bit of a failed examine engine. He, Croven, is... <coughs> <coughs> You're gonna have to take it from here. <coughs> well, as my brother is trying to say, we're both the exact same class. I was a profession, but my little brother has a little clogged inside of the pipes. We don't know which pipe it is, but but we are assuring to for trying to find out. So why does Strom have buy you? I don't. <coughs> no. Ah, good. Everyone is here. Hello everyone, I'm Edward, and I am Bertram Topham Head. Welcome to Sodor, all of you. Hang on. One, two, three, four. There's supposed to be five of you. Oh, I'm pretty sure that you're referring to Alfred. Well, we had to take a passenger train. Oh yeah, yeah, I remembered. And he should be here about any second now. Eh, there probably was a delay, but I do not really mind. As long as it's not gonna happen on my railway. Anyways, sir, there was a <coughs> question. Well, what's that, Henry? Why did you buy me? You know I'm a failed examine engine. Well, of course I, you are gonna be sending up to the scrapyard, so I bought you to examine you and clog out all your pipes. But in the meantime, you will have to do some hard work while, while we check inside you. But I'll make sure that they're as easy as you can take. I just hope that you're not gonna cause any delays on my railway. I hope not too, sir. <laughs> Is that him? Yes. And oh boy, he's coming in real fast. This is how does the INER run, oh boy! Oh crap, jump out! Oh dear. Are you happy with yourself, Alfred? Causing an accident and injuring a lot of people? Oh, no, sir. Since I had just recently just bought you, I have no choice but to keep you for a trial. And plus, I understand that you're making up for the lost time, but next time, do it simple. You got that? I'll give you another chance, but like all chances, you are going to get a punishment. I will take away your green coat of paint and get rid of that LNER off your tender. I can now see that it brought you into your arrogance, because I heard you. You weren't trying to make up the lost time, you were trying to show off. What? But sir, you can't do that! Oh, but I can. And also, I got you the Northwestern Railway's tradition. Ah, Alfred, finally you're here. I needed to have a word with you. You wanted to see me, sir. Indeed I did. 
Alfred, your behavior has been outrageous, and I'm very am disappointed in you. I know, you're gonna punish me, blah, blah, blah. And what's worse is that you've been bullying Henry and Gordon. Yes, may Henry may be, is probably, dare I say it, a disgrace to the LNER, but he has pride of it, and he has pride for the Northwestern, and he does not care. That's the true meaning of the LNER. Yes, Gordon did gotten rid of his green coat of paint, and gotten rid of the LNER off his tender, and replaced it with the number four, but that does not mean that he's a disgrace. Anyone who is a disgrace is you. Well, no dirt, because I am painted blue. That has nothing to do with the LNER. Different colors not count. It's what you behave that counts. Yo, sir, you got that all wrong. I'm pretty sure I did. And why did I call you down here to talk about this? It's because your arrogance has now came down to my opinion that I have to send you away from Sodor and replace you to an, L to an LMS engine. Well, Alfred, I guess it's the goodbye. You'll leave inside the next hour. See you around. Oh dear, oh dear. What are you doing here, Gordon? Rushing. And foreign ninjas like me should have lots of it. Who is that? That sounds like Alfred, but hang on, what's he doing here coming so fast? At long last, my revenge is about to be completed. Oh crap, he's on the same line. Oh, Gordon, Henry, you have a very important passenger to meet today, and his name is Lucifer. Oh God! Oh my God! What had just happened? I cannot believe this. This is just horrendous. He... He tried to murder us. Now, now, he must not jump to conclusions. But unfortunately, that is the case. <sighs> oh, Lord, I cannot get over it. Neither can I. There still must have been something that we could at least did. No, Gordon, there wasn't. But listen to me. I've been thinking about it all through now. Now, yes, maybe Alvar would still have been here if we never did came, but he also probably wouldn't have. Gordon, this is not your fault. There is some engine that will change, but there's also some that just don't, and Alfred was one of them. If he came to me and was truly sorry, then I would treat him like he's my brother. But he refused not to, so the fault was all on him. You know, Henry, you're absolutely right. Maybe Alfred would still be here if we wouldn't have came. But he chose not to change, so that was his fault. Exactly. Say, would you form into an alliance? An alliance? You help me and I'll help you. Sounds good to me. Right back at you. Good. Now that's settled then. <laughs>